This video deals with views, things that you can see, the fact that you can see two different windows at the same time. Uh, I'm going to start by going to the view ribbon here. And you're probably going to want to turn your rulers on and leave them on. Uh, and at some point in time, we may want to change them from centimeters to inches. And I'll discuss how to do that at another time. But for now, I just want you to know that you can turn your ruler on. You've also got minimize, which is here, which pretty much makes Word go away, or that document go away. And then you're able to bring them back. Restore means don't take up the whole window. Maximize means take up the whole window. And then close, of course, closes the, the document. We don't want to do that. Your scroll bars are here. Here's your vertical scroll bar, which allows you to go down the document. Now, my document is so narrow that I don't need a horizontal toolbar. But if I were zoomed in much more, you would then need, and it comes up automatically. It allows you to go from side to side. So those are your scroll bars. I'm sure you've seen them before. I want to talk about multiple documents now. You're able to have several documents open at once. Uh, they could be Word documents. They could be a combination of Word and other documents. And I'll cover both right now. Right now I have two Word documents open. If I want to see both of them at the same time, I need to have them both open, of course. And then I can ask to view side by side. And now they're side by side. The only problem, the only issue that I have with this feature is that you sometimes lose some of the icons on your toolbar. 2010 seems to be a lot better than 2007 and 2003 were because you'd literally be missing icons from your toolbar. Here it looks like they just made the toolbar a little bit thicker so that you're not losing anything. So I'm hoping that that continues and that the, the same thing works on your computer as is working on mine. You've also got the ability to arrange the windows this way. So if you're losing buttons, arrange them this way instead and then view your documents this way. Okay? I prefer the other way. You've also got this synchronous scrolling, which means if I scroll on the top, it automatically goes down on the bottom. If you don't want that to be happening, just click this and turn it off. And that way, if you scroll on the top, it's not necessarily doing it on the bottom. If I want to scroll on the bottom, I would click on this window and I would scroll down there. So that's what you do if you want to work on two Word documents at the same time. And we will be doing that. One of your exercises will ask you to do that. You can also change the zoom on each document if you wanted to independently so you can do that. The other thing I want you to know about multiple documents is that <clears throat> I've got other types of documents open down here, not Word documents. If I want to see those, I'm going to I'm going to close this document here. Uh, I'm not going to save it. Leave me with only this one Word document, but I've got an Adobe document here that I want to open that I want to see as well. If you want to see a Word and a non-Word document, you need to right-click down here on your taskbar, and you need to ask to e either show the windows stacked, which means one on top of the other, or side by side. Okay, and sometimes you have to, to try it more than once in order for it to work. So I'm going to right-click again and try that again, and there we go. So now I see my Adobe document here, and I see my Word document here. We're going to do this a lot initially because I'm going to want you to be typing these Adobe documents. So I'm going to send you picture documents, or you're going to be opening picture documents, and you're going to be, I'm going to be asking you to take this and type it into your own document. And that's the only way you do that, is you right click, and then you ask to see them either stacked or side by side, and you'll try to reproduce this. One other thing, we may not use this at all, but I want you to know that it exists. Um, you may get into a situation where you have a really long document. By, and by long, I mean multiple pages. You're able to split your document into two. And that allows you to see the top part of your document and then down here, another part of your document at the same time. Comes in really handy when you're trying to copy and paste one part of your document 
to another. So if this was page one and this was page 111, you wouldn't have to scroll down your entire document to copy and paste. You would simply copy it from this part and then paste it in this part. So you may not need split right now, but I'm hoping that you remember that that option is there for you and you can use it at any time.